were able every night to dream any dream you wanted to dream. And that you could, for example, have the power within one night to dream 75 years of time. Or any length of time you wanted to have. Then you would get more and more adventurous and you would make further and further out gambles as to what you would dream. And finally, you would dream where you are now. Welcome back to phase one, this is episode 11. First of all, I just wanna say a massive thank you to all of you guys who have subscribed to the channel over the past couple of weeks. Not even over the past couple of weeks, over the past few months, the, the channel's gone from strength to strength. It's, it's amazing and it's also opened up some pretty incredible opportunities which I'm gonna be talking over in a minute. I can't go over too much of it until the new year, but I can give you guys some sort of clues as to what might be going on. First of all, a quick talk about phase one and how the series is gonna pan out um, heading towards next season. I really want to take this series back a step into the raw, deep insight into life as a tour pro and preparing for next season, the behind the scenes and all the different bits and bobs which go on to try and improve myself as a golfer, not just physically, but mentally, technically, the whole lot. I really want to film everything and I want to make that the main focus of the channel again. The trouble is with being a YouTuber is that you always have this pressure on you that you've got to upload content and I end up making kind of pointless videos going out on the golf course and 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 playing golf and filming it just so I can get some content out so you guys can watch it and enjoy it and it's kind of, it's content with no direction. But I'm gonna still do the course vlogs, probably about one a month, but just make sure it's really well produced with some fun people to play with. You know, like Conig, um, Farley, Ben Isaac, James, maybe the map, I don't know about the map. But still, so still have that fun content in there, but at least it has some meaning. It's a match, not just pointless content of me going out there on the golf course and playing for no reason. So we're gonna be putting a lot more emphasis now on phase one and pushing that as hard as we can. We're actually almost out of phase one. We're almost into phase two now. I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. I've got a bit of paper up on the wall over there. So this is the original bit of paper which I wrote down the plan for phase one on. Goal is to position myself in such a way that I can confidently give golf my full attention without having to worry about money or ability to support support my family we're pretty much almost there um obviously not sharing how much of an income i need each month i think that's too much personal information to share um but tournament expenses we're halfway there massive thank you to james from new york who's helped sponsor me and that's going to cover about half of my season next year equipment sponsorship gloves balls etc all of that i'm going to have it which is amazing i can't say anything about that yet but I'll be able to within the next couple of weeks um, but I still can't share everything until the new year really but there's like I said there's some massive stuff coming up um, clothing sponsorship yes and full-time coach yes being peak physical and mental conditioning that's something which is probably just going to be carried through um, all the phases really we are looking very close to ticking all those off and moving on to phase two and although there hasn't been much going on from what you guys can see on camera, behind the camera, there's been a hell of a lot going on and some life-changing opportunities really which have, which have come up, one of which involves filming with a major champion and um, just stuff for next year which I can't talk about yet, um, but trust me, it is gigantic. But like you saw there in the intro, we've got 14 weeks now until the season starts. So I've really now got to focus on my golf and make sure I put everything into it, uh, not leave anything unturned over the winter. I need to be fighting fit when the season starts. I need to be mentally in a very good place as well. So a lot of the preparation is going to involve actually relaxing and maybe even taking some time off. Um, so I'm in a good state of mind ready for the season. Obviously working technically um, a lot with Stuart, uh, not just on the long game, but now moving into the short game. The long game's looking quite good. A lot of work in the gym, flexibility, mobility, stability, a lot of biometrics training, um, and really just building the all-round package. So hopefully going into next season, I stand a very good chance of doing quite well in some tournaments. Um, again, not expecting anything going into next season. This is all still a learning curve as it's gonna be for a, a, probably a couple more years yet. So, Let's get started with phase one now and really push the golf and sort of self-improvement side of things and uh, take you guys along with me. The other night I went up to the range um, 
and wasn't striking it very well, pretty awful, uh, wondered why I was playing golf and maybe I should give up. It got that bad and then went up there the next day, I hit a couple hundred golf balls and it couldn't have been any more of a contrast. This is just golf in general, so here's some footage um, of the day where I actually hit the ball a lot better after the night before where I thought I was going to give up golf and chuck everything out the window. It, golf can just make you like that sometimes. It happens to everyone, whether you're a pro, whether you're a beginner golfer, you're off 28 or junior golfer off 54. You're going to have days where you just feel depressed, nothing's working, you're beating yourself up. And I had one of those nights, and then the next day I went out there and I had one of the days where I'm like, oh my god, this is actually now starting to click, this is feeling fantastic. So here's that footage. Okay. <laughs> What's wrong with that? It's ridiculous. Why does it look ridiculous? It's really good with them, like, banners behind. I'm Harry Flower Golf. <laughs> So I'm just currently up at the range, hit a few golf balls, feel as if I'm hitting it a lot better today. I came up the range last night and I just wasn't striking it very well. Um, and it was, like I was saying to James, I still feel as if I'm, my swing is still a conscious movement and I, I miss the days of where I just swing a golf club and you get to like your 50th ball on the bucket and it doesn't even feel like you're really swinging it because it's such a natural movement and you've done it so many times. But because I'm trying to change so many things at the moment and there's so many things which I'm conscious, conscious of when I'm swinging, I still feel it and I think that's why I'm not really striking the ball very well. So today I'm just going to go out there and not focus so much on the swing changes which I'm trying to make. Um, still have a couple conscious thoughts there. Um, again, set up thoughts like my shoulder position over my feet, um, which is the main thing and see if I can start striking it a bit better. So I'm going to use um, the athlete's foot spray on the club face and compare my strike pattern today to last night. I'll bring a picture up on screen of my strike patterns from last night. So you can see there that the majority of the strikes are more towards the toe. I'm going to go and try and work on that now and test a few things out and see what works. So I'm going to hit five balls with each club. I'm not going to hit every club, but I'm going to hit my pitching wedge, my eight iron, six iron, four iron, two iron, and I'll probably hit the driver as well. Um, and really just compare the strike pattern to last night, because last night wasn't very good. Although my misses aren't too bad, um, they're just generally not struck. So let's see how this turns out compared to last night.
So just going out there and swinging it more naturally today without thinking about so many things. Um, and these are the strike patterns compared to last night, which are just miles better. So it's just a case of at the moment, whilst I'm trying to make the swing changes and conscious of making those movements, it's just, I find it a lot harder to strike the golf ball. And then when I go back to feeling a little bit more natural, uh, and swinging it without really thinking. I do strike the golf ball a lot better. Um, so it's just gonna be really balancing the two on the range. And then when I go out on the golf course, just swinging it a little bit more, a little bit more naturally. And this man. Cool, <sighs> look at the lats. Those lats on the boy. Uh, Get out of my shop. Thank you guys again so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and follow all of this because it is going to be, it's going to be really exciting this year. Like I said, I really want to start now taking this down more of a, of a raw, vloggy style, sort of series, um, and showing you, really showing you the ins and outs and the emotions and everything which go with, with this lifestyle because. It is nowhere near as glamorous as it may seem from a lot of people. And I want to give you guys the real perspective of what it's like um, going to tournaments and lonely nights in the hotel room and all that stuff. Because it isn't all, it's not all glitz and glamour. I feel like this is a proper, like, fresh restart to the series and going in a little bit more of a serious direction so maybe expect some more like in-depth chats coming up and um yeah a lot of different stuff i'm looking forward just to sort of alleviating that pressure of feeling like i have to upload um to get some content out for you guys i'm now going to focus on actually making meaningful meaningful content um to give you guys the best look at life on tour basically. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode.